I think a lot of us assume that successful people are the ones that you know are clocking all the time. They wake up and they check their email first thing. And you actually say you learn maybe not to do yeah. this. Almost everybody said the same thing. They don't answer any emails for the first hour or even go on social media because they look at their inbox as being defense and their out outbox being offense. So they may send out emails, but they're not answering everybody's problems. Then they also take time to not only give thanks, but find out what do they want in life instead of waking up, cooking for the kids, answering emails, getting depressed on social media, and then listening to the news and find out that the whole world blew up. They all think about what they want to do so that they can be effective during the day. So we know that that's what we should be doing. Be honest, what do you do first thing in the morning? Are you checking social? Are you checking your email? Are you checking the news? Well, you know what? I, I, I think I have an effective uh, lifestyle, but I really didn't start trying to make a book. I started trying to find out what was going on with a lot of my friends, and then I started to correct my lifestyle because initially when I woke up, I used to, um, I don't really check emails. I do all those methods, but I also used to work out at night because I said, I don't have time in the day. I'm taking a good hour, two hours out of a busy day. What are you kidding me? I'm going to do that at night. I started to work out earlier in the day due to a lot of these techniques that successful people have, and that in return, made me more productive. I looked over the course of a month, I gained two more days back in my life because mm -hmm. instead of eating my nice, you know, egg bagel and stuff and being tired for the first hour, two hours to get to work, I was more productive and I started doing more things that I learned from the book. So I wake up, I don't check emails either. I try to eat healthy, but now I start to work out and it's made me so much more productive. And these little changes have made me uh, uh, more efficient as well in my personal life too. What is one of the changes that you made um, other than working out first thing that's affected your personal life? Some of the changes I made that I learned from Grant Cardone is now I may make a meeting at 9.06 or 8.54. It shows people that they cannot be late and they need to be on time and that I'm clocking everything they do and I need to also improve my life doing that. I also, because I have a two-year-old, a uh, brand new baby and a lot of things going on in my life, I schedule time with my loved ones to make a call to my mother to tell her I love her, to take my daughters out on a date, a daddy, a daddy date and or my wife because we often say to our family, we'll get to it tomorrow, I'll see you in the weekend, I'll talk to you later, and we never get to it because we schedule everything else as a priority except for the personal times with our families. And then I also started improving my health and looking into what was going on in my life, and through that, through early, early detection, I found out I ended up having stage two cancer, thyroid cancer, that I got caught early, it's out of my system, I'm cancer free. It was all because I started looking into the book and these subjects on how they took care of their health, more important than anything else. I did not know wow, that. What a uh, bombshell. That's overwhelming, yeah. Wow. Hey, highly effective people, right? You can see more of Damon John with a double dose of Shark Tank. It's this Sunday from 9 to 11 right here on ABC7.